He just has it too good in there, so he don't want to come out. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> smile. Are you like smile? <laughs> yeah. Are you excited to be dad again? Yeah. I'm not looking forward to the screaming in the night and stuff on sleeping. And this is the fun part, sitting and waiting. Yeah. Okay, so? The doctor just checked me and left. Yeah, they are going to discuss how to go on. Uh, it's uh, more or less starting, but they want to start her because she had a little too little of the fluid left. Yeah. So, uh, we're probably getting started today yeah. or tomorrow, but it seems like it's going to be today if the time was okay, yeah. it wasn't too much. They said much. I was like um, two, three centimeters. Yes, uh, and you were, uh, whatever it's called in English, I don't know, <laughs> was almost eradicated. Uh, mm -hmm. New tappen, to what happened. Okay, we don't yeah. know what that we, is. We don't know, we are not doctors. <laughs> <laughs> but then um, it looks like um, how would be induced. Yeah. Uh, so we had to stop the video because the doctor came in. Yes. And, um, and the hospital is filled with maternity. Yeah, the maternity ward was filled at the moment, so we are going to knee shopping instead, uh, I think. So we'll see, we're waiting now to see. Yeah, we have to do it today. Uh, they don't want us to wait too much because the liquid in me is like little. Yeah, so they want to go do it as fast as, as possible. As fast as possible. Yeah. So we're going to go to the uh, new shopping in Sakasuki and uh, we will let you guys know how it goes from there. Yes, that's good. Hi everyone, uh, we are in the shopping now. Uh, Rebecca has just gotten hooked up on a heart uh, monitor and stuff for the baby mm -hmm. to check all the vitals and see how we gonna go on, move on. Yeah, and after all of this, you're gonna examine you. To yeah, see how it much set the are... big ants inside my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to check um, how far, how many centimeters. Uh, the baby is it's or open, yes, it's open. So now we're just waiting time. Yeah, now we're just waiting. We're gonna see what type of induction it is, and we'll let you guys know. Yeah. Yeah. Right now I'm just a bit anxious. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll see. Wish me luck. It'd be really nice. Okay. So guys, I have been given a tablet to use so that my contractions can start. I was given the first one like two hours ago and nothing happened. And I was given the second one now. And still, we'll see what happens. But uh, they say they can give you up to eight tablets. So I'm on the second one, but I haven't felt any contractions. So... We'll see how it goes. So while I'm waiting for contraction, somebody is sleeping. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck me? Yeah. You're sleeping while I'm waiting for my contractions. <laughs> I 
Oh, so guys, yeah, we are passing the night here. Yeah, 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 a.m. Still going strong. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we've been here since um, what time did we arrive here? Six. Yeah, I think we arrived by six. They've been giving me the pill like every two hours, mm -hmm. and I've, I'm on the third one now. No. On the fourth one now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm on the fourth one now, so, and I have not started, I have not felt like strong contractions yet, just like, I just feel like very little Yeah, but pain. that's the start, it's how it should feel in the beginning. Yeah, but yeah, um, we're gonna hand stop this and start tomorrow morning, they're going to try and give me like every two hours, I think they're gonna give me eight. We'll see what happens because you never know if the you start getting these contractions. Yeah, but if I get the contractions like before, um, complete the complete eight or before tomorrow yeah. morning, we don't know what will happen. Then maybe we can continue with the vlog. But we pause it for we pause it for now to try and sleep. A to try and uh, sleep, okay. and they will always wake me anyway when it's time to take mm -hmm. the the tablet, and I might not be able to record it yeah. <laughs> then so she need to collect the strength mm -hmm. i need to try and rest so we'll see guys yeah wish me luck okay guys uh, it's uh, just 30 minutes after we said that we are not gonna do anything anymore go sleep mm. and it started the water went and uh, the pain increased so fast. So now she's sucking in this uh, <gasps> gas. But yeah. He's doing really good. Yeah, very mm -hmm. good. <laughs> very good. Yeah. You're strong, baby. You are strong. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so, so we'll see how it goes. It is so painful. Yeah, I know. We're waiting to get some painkillers. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna get the epidural. Epidural, yeah. <laughs> so that's what uh, we're waiting for now. Give me 
about that. Oh, yeah. tissue. Yeah. Tissue, maybe. I don't know if you have time to see when they check on you. If it opens too fast or too much, it's, they're not going to give you it. Because, uh, um, uh, I said the effort I was too late for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I have it? Water? You want more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
everything that is in. Just like everything, just for like, yeah, I course. just felt everything at once, like. Mm -hmm. That was the thing, that's what the process was supposed to be. Yeah. The kids were. Yeah. Good. Oof. Okay. Breathe. Yeah. Deep breaths. Yeah, I know you wanna get it out now. It will come really soon, okay? You yeah you can do it. You are strong baby. Really strong. Yeah. You're gonna do really well, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Soon, baby. Okay? It's really close now. I love you. Okay? You've been really, really strong, really good, baby. It's not that far left. Hey guys, uh, we are still at the hospital. The baby is here. Uh, it was a really tough night. Uh, we didn't film as much as we wanted to because it got a bit stressful and stuff. So. Uh, she went into labor, uh, it got intensive really, really fast, uh, pain was really high, so I tried to help as much as I could, but she was in so much pain, and then she was going to get the epidural, uh, then they had problems with strokes and stuff here at the hospital, so the doctors didn't have time for her. So she had to wait for two and a half hours, I think, for the epidural, and uh, that was not fun because she was in so much pain. But she got through it. But uh, as it went, uh, it went fast. She got the contractions and uh, everything you know, opened up, opened up fully, and the baby started to come down. And she got the uh, push. Uh, push pains, you know, so she started pushing and the nurses were there, midwives, and said we could start pushing. But it went, uh, it was hard, it does, that didn't happen that much. And then they realized the baby was uh, faced uh, the wrong way, uh, not upside down, the face was the other way as it should be. So they said it possible to do it anyway, uh, 
but it's harder. So they said uh, that we need to start contraction again to get the baby to try to get it in the right position. So Rebecca had to move around, change position uh, du during these contractions and uh, breathe through when she was so strong and so tired. You know, she was even falling asleep between the contractions, so tired she was. This took very, very long time. I think uh, until we started push the last time, it was almost 13 hours. So it took a long time. <coughs> but uh, she got through these uh, contractions uh, for, I think she had to do it for two, three hours maybe to get the baby in the right position and finally they said that baby is uh, now in the right position so and Rebecca was so tired so they said we, we need to do it now so during this I, if I go back a bit uh, the baby since he was in that position his heartbeat was going up and down it was going low at some points uh, in some positions so they had to move her around a bit uh, to get him to get the right heartbeat again. Uh, so that was happening all through, more or less. So at the end, when they said we were going to push, uh, Rebecca got in the position. Uh, and we finally got to the point where she should uh, start pushing again. They said the baby was in the right position, uh, but still facing the wrong way, but uh, calm down enough. So Rebecca had to sit down the way they wanted her to do and start and then the baby's heartbeat dropped rapidly and did not want to come up uh, even if they tried to turn her. So they uh, rushed in a bed, uh, they, it, come, it came like five, six people in the room and they rushed Rebecca away for an uh, emergency C-section. And uh, I had to run after, and it went so fast. I got to run after into the room before the operation room, and wait, it took maximum five minutes, and the baby came to me, they came out to, with the baby to me. They had put her to sleep, uh, and Rebecca, so to make this uh, C-section as fast as possible. So I got the baby after that, uh, they checked the baby, and he was fine, everything was perfect. And then I had to go to the room and wait for Rebecca to wake up, uh, which took almost three hours, three and a half maybe. So, but it was, it was really, really stressful and it was uh, both a bad and a good experience, but uh, it was stressful. Uh, a bit scared. Rebecca was, of course, when she woke up, really afraid where her baby was because she woke up in a wake up uh, room and we were not there. But they took her up uh, to our room quite fast after that. And now we are here. Uh, Rebecca is resting with the baby at the moment. She is fine, she has a lot of pain, of course, uh, in the stomach since they operated on her, but she's fine. The video did not end as we wanted and did not show everything we wanted because of this stress that was all the time and the C section and everything. So uh, we have to do what we can with this, so. but we hope it's good enough. We wanted to show as much as possible. The baby is here now, uh, he is uh, fine, he's perfect, you will see him in the next vlog, hopefully, so push the like button, follow, comment, you know, and we see you later, bye.